Slammy whammers and slammers. That is right, it is time for part three of the critically acclaimed look at some pogs, pog toys. Where I've bought some boxes of pogs and stuff and we're going to take a look at them. Uh, you've probably seen part one and two, if you haven't, I don't know why you're watching part three. But I'll probably leave a link uh, at the end of the video. But just in case you haven't, I bought loads of pogs recently at a charity shop. Um, and I've been going through them because they're really weird and strange. And these ones specifically are official slammy whammers and slammers. That phrase means very little to me. But hopefully, looking through this box, we will find out what exactly a slammy whammer is and what separates it from a slammer. Uh, so, as with the last part, I'm going to go and do the uh, cell tape and stuff, and then we're going to crack into it and have a look at all the really weird, trippy designs. So, BRB. Alright, it is open. Um, and, as always, I shall be using a book as a backdrop. And yet, it's your boy, Joffrey Ash, with Mythology of the British Isles yet again. Uh, right, so I'm going to change the camera angle again, and then I'll crack this open. Actually, I'll crack this open now just to prove it is indeed cracked and this isn't some crazy YouTube scam that I'm getting all the kids to watch because I'm sure the younger generation love pogs you know, that thing that stopped being a thing in like the very early 2000s uh, right, yeah, so I'm going to change the camera angle and then we'll take a look alright, so I've changed the angle a little bit differently today uh, partly because I've got to use actually my real light because my natural light is not as good. So there's lots of shadows and stuff. So as with the last time, I'm just going to randomly, blindly grab them out. And we're going to take a look at them. Uh, so without further ado, let's begin with the Worminator. Get it? Because he's a worm. Oh, actually, yeah, it kind of does sound like Terminator. Oh, and this is an official Slammer Whammer. Fantastic! So this is 1994 by Imperial. This is number 12. Yo, we're off to actually a pretty cool start here then. Because if you remember, part 2 was full of fake ones. Um, Planet X. Yo, um, okay, it's slightly bent. I thought it was etching, but not. Planet X. Weird dude thing. Hey, that's a slammer whammer as well. Oh, yo. I swear, if these are all official, that's going to be amazing. Because... Uh, the thing that drove me, up, drove me up to the wall was there were so many different series and I didn't know what was going on. Um, we've got the Marine Corps. Get it? Because it's technically spelt core like that. But there's an E. And he's a member of the Marines. Number 62. Slammer Wham. I'm kind of liking these, actually. They're, um... Uh, I am a sucker for things that are actually official. We've got Big Harry. Big, Big Harry is a... Spider, I think, or, uh, yeah, no, it's too hairy to be a lobster or something, but he's got lots of different tools and stuff. Okay, interesting. Uh, next up, okay, I've grabbed two, uh, hang on. Uh, we've got Eric the Dead, ah, playing Eric the Red, who I believe was like a uh, Norse guy, I believe, number 67. Official Slammer Whammer. I am flipping all of them over just to like double check. Ooh. Ooh, this is not looking in very good condition. Uh, squish. It's like a fly. Must have been squished, I think. It look, yeah, it looks like it's like fallen on its own head though. Okay. Official Slammer Whammer. Yeah, that's in really bad condition, unfortunately. I'm going to take from a different. Hey, okay, good. They are sla official as well. Um, oh, we've got Mr. Wheel, uh, Workers, wait, what's that? Wackers Laser Graphics 93. Interesting. Okay, Mr. Wheel. This is an official one. No, that's the first time I've actually seen, like, a, um, copyright of any of these, like, people. Oh, yo, that's kind of cool. Samurai Discipline. They're, uh, like, reading and stuff. 263, Jesus Christ, the man, Slammer Wham has produced a lot of pogs. Uh, I'm used to like the series being like a hundred, maybe two hundred, but wild things. Ah, oh, okay, it's uh, by Whackers again. 149, is that lizard? I say that lizard as if I know what lizard that is. I clearly don't. Um, 
Right, anyway, we're off to a kind of cool start here. Yeah? So we've got um, Magic Hat by Whackers again, 229. That is an official one. Start doing smaller piles because otherwise the entire thing's going to uh, fall over. We've got a Greased Lightning. Oh, oh, sorry, it's that way. Man, that, that did a full 360 turn. Get it? Because it's a. Wait, no, I don't get it. What? It's like a fly on a motorbike and there's grease making it go faster. I mean, now there's the saying going like greased lightning. Uh, I don't know. Big top circus time. Big top circus time. What? I don't, don't really know where that is. I don't know what that is. What is that? Please someone tell me in the comments. It's meant to be this way up, I guess. I can't quite make out what that's meant to be. I mean, maybe my viewfinder's a bit weird, but... no. Oh, number eight. We've got, uh, Chums? No, hang on, sorry. Um, Swack. Ah, it's like the splatted fly thing, but it's different. Nice. Okay. Um, oh! Wackoids. Okay, so it's by the same company, Wacker or whatever. Hey, nice. I, I quite like that actually. He's sort of like an angry cactus man. Uh, we've. Oh, number one! Yeah, boy, we've got an angry fly and he's number one. What does that say? Zonk. Zonk sounds like an Amiga game. Was Zonk Amiga? I, I never played the Amiga, but I'm aware of. Sounds like Zonk, anyway. We've got. Heads up! Get it? Because they're zombie heads and they're up in the sky. Honestly, I, I do really like the artwork of this. I, I know I like sound like I don't appreciate it and stuff. I really do. They're just... Oh, yo, we got pure poison. Danger explosive pure poison. Is this... Oh! This is an official slammer whammer. Because pure poison, if you remember from the last two parts, is actually a series called Pure Poison. I wonder if Slammer Whammers produced them as like a spin-off Pog series then. Got Splish, again a Splatted Fly. I don't know why when anyone would want to collect those. They're just weird, but whatever. Bottoms up! Get it? Because his bottom is up. Are Slammer Whammers British, I wonder? Because like, I've never heard an American refer to the, the arse as the bottom. We've got wild things. Oh, okay, so it's like that lizard, but this time someone holding up a hand. Uh, okay, cool. I I mean, I'm liking these already way better than the um, rip-off -like ones from Thailand. That's not saying much. We've got a FWOP uh, wrestling guy, I guess. Yeah, very interesting. And I'm very pleased these are all official as well. It adds literally nothing to the value, but hey. We've got fireflies. Do you get it? It's a fly, but it's got it like it, it, it's a fireman, which is very nice. Uh, also, sorry, it's raining in the background. I hope that's not too loud for you guys. Eat my sawdust. Um, another bike pun, kind of, I guess. That is, yeah, I'm not totally getting that to be honest. He looks like a termite on a bike. Ah, oh, termite, obviously, because he'd eat through like wood and make sawdust or whatever. Surf and Turf, uh, which obviously is a play on the the mix of like steak, is it, and fish or something? Oh, yo, Slam, which is appropriate because this is a Slammer Whammer. Yeah, we've got, uh, well, I was going to say an NFL, but wait, NFL? NHL. Uh, hockey League person, but it doesn't have to be. It's, it's a hockey player. Cowabunga! Do you get it? Because it's what Michelangelo from the Turtles would say, and then. It's a cow. Surfing. Uh, right, next up. Ooh. Okay, we've got... That was really difficult to read. So it's the No Fire Department. Fireflies. That doesn't look like an F. That looks like a K or something. That's that's difficult to read. I'm not going to lie. That's uh, That was a difficult one. We've got Pencil Neck. Oh, that is painful. That... Jesus Christ, so he swallowed a pencil sideways, this purple dog man in a suit. He's got like a tie and everything, he's got a shirt on. 
He's an office worker. He, he'd presume if he can get like a job in an office, he'd know not to eat pencils. But uh, I worked in an office, and I wouldn't be surprised if some of my co-workers ate pencils. Hey, oh man, I feel like a comedian from the seventies. Uh, shell on wheels. Not really. Again, I know it's a bike pun. It's like uh, shell on wheels. I can't say I've ever heard that saying. Shell on wheels, like. What's it, a version of? Home on wheels? I don't know. Oh, we got Crash. Yeah, there we are. We got more splatty bug things. Man, to be fair, Squash. Whoever, um, whoever's collection this was, they collected a lot of these, and I wouldn't be surprised if I've got, like, at least half of all the official Slammer Whammers by the end. We've got Native Sun. Native Sun. Native Sun. I guess it's like a play on native son, as in S O N, as in like he he's a native to here. He grew up in this land. I don't know. Jungle bones, Jang jungle bones, jungle bones, jungle bones, jungle bones, jungle bones, jungle bones, mom. Um, so is jungle bones the series? Maybe mom is obviously the character. Look at her; she looks like your mother. That sounded like a diss to all my viewers. I'm, I'm not insulting your mothers. All of your mothers are lovely, I am sure. Uh, right. Next up. Screech! And, oh, it's a Formula One car, and he's hit something, and a wheel's come off. Well, that's a shame. Hey, world things again. We've got weird tribal lion, I guess. Like, he looks like a lion that's mated with a cat bus from My Neighbor Totoro. But... Okay, cool. Oh, eat my sawdust. That's a double. I'll put that there. Uh, dealer. Dealer? Dealer. Really interesting art. He looks like a... She looks like a Hagoromo from Naruto, like one of the Hagoromo tribes. Um, you know, Old Man Six Paths or whatever he was called. Sluggo! Yep, yeah, and he's got mom tattooed on him. Very nice. I see a big mom theme at the moment. I'm pronouncing it mom and not mum because that's how you pronounce it, really. Jolly Roger, look at him. Ha ha! He, he's dead, but he's happy. And a pirate, obviously, because he's got an eye patch. Because uh, only pirates wear eye patches. Which must be really difficult for people with, like, one eye. Because uh, constantly being, you know, uh, be, being mistaken for pirates. We've got pure poison radioactive. So this is, yeah, this must be before Pure Poison took off, because, like, the Pure Poison had that kind of, like, silver skull and things are hollow. Ooh! I've accidentally picked up a slammer. Whoa, dude. Okay, so this is plastic. So on this side, we can see it's just, like, red plastic and it's kind of translucent. And then on this side... Got like the time, man. But what if the time is in a vortex? Dude, aren't we all just living in a vortex? And other things, I'm sure people who designed that were probably saying. Um, yeah, nice. Okay, I'm glad the um, the uh, slammers are actually interesting because in the last box we had just loads of doubles, basically. Chairman of the board! <laughs> I get it, because he's a surfer. And he surfs on a board. Uh, and also, it's a play on, you know, chairman of the board as, like, a thing on a, in, in work or whatever. Too cool! He's an elf. But he realised the hypothermia soon sets in. He may be covered in ice now, but soon his suffering will end, because he will die after all of his organs give out, because uh, there's no heat. We've got Kawasaki Slammer Whammer. Yo, okay, so it... So, like, Kawasaki jet skis, just like... Oh, oh, wait, what has happened here? The previous owner has, like, drawn over, like, official, just says Slammer Whammers? Also, it keeps saying, watch for limited edition Slammer Whammers. How do I know if they're limited edition? Do they say? I feel like they say. It didn't the first one, actually, wasn't that? It didn't have, like, hollows and stuff, um, like shiny ones. Scared stiff. We got the zombie series again. I should have piled them up with like the sub series they're all in, but that's that's a lot of work. Pure poison, biohazard. Yeah, that's kind of the style, isn't it? 
but they're not quite grey yet, and they're not quite like it's hard to describe. But pure poison have like a very specific design, don't they? Uh, we've got Blobby. Oh god, that reminds me. Um, so I don't know if was that say mini monsters? Okay, cool. So it's it's a mini monster. Um. Yeah, so that reminds me, actually, uh, if you didn't grow up in Britain, you wouldn't have known this, and maybe, you know, you missed it anyway. There's a character called Mr. Blobby, who was here on the screen, and he was terrifying. I apparently liked him as a child, but I can't understand why. He was... Ah, oh, just the thing of nightmares. He made this, like, weird noise. <laughs> there we go. I hope that... I hope that's set you, uh... On smooth sailing. That's just a nice picture of a woman uh, windsurfing. That is windsurfing, isn't it? On a board? I don't know. Ooh! Tribe vibe. He looks like he's in a tribe. Cap wax. Cap wax? Oh, cap wax. Is this wax? No, it's cardboard. Cool. We've got a, a, an official slammer whammer again. I am just assuming at this point all of these are official slammer whammers, but I could be wrong, obviously. Uh, we've got Wild Things, the fish and a neckerchief. He looks like he's part of the um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon crew from uh, Blue Exploration Team. Got Wild... Ooh, I really like that, actually. Wild Things. He's like a tribal monkey, but it looks like he's mixed with the frog. Whackers again. Thank you, Whackers. Uh, these pogs are not straight Whacker. Uh, we've got Pegasus. Yeah, he's a pink Pegasus boy. We've got... oh, that way, sorry. American Highway... <laughs> what? American Highways... Like, yo, wait, what? Well, hang on. Wait, is this really... is this really dark? Those are graves, right? And that's like a big tree? What's going on? American Highways... Okay, so part of me thinks, okay, this is just like a logo American Highways would do. But like, what's going on with the graves? That, is that like a weird metaphor for like all the American soldiers that have died or something? I, maybe I'm just looking way too into that. We've got um, uh, a, a bird of some description from the Wild Things set. We've got Flyboy, which is a picture I never want to see again. Um, we have Wild Things sp Red Spider in a web. Be wary of the red spiders. I mean, be wary of spiders in general. Most of them aren't going to hurt you, but... You know, it's, it's always good, especially if they're like strange colours, so ones you don't recognise. Uh, fireflies. So we had the, uh, the badge, didn't we, from the Fireflies department. Well, that's a fly driving an ambulance, which I feel like... Isn't really linked to fire, but okay. Well, I suppose there are ambulances when there's a fire. Oh, crunch. Okay, so this is like sport injury subset, I guess, because we had the uh, wrestling one earlier, and we had the other hockey player, so there we are. That probably follows the last one, I wouldn't be surprised. We've got cyber... cyber dudes. This is the computer genius. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, the computer genius, yes. Um... Ah, this was definitely 1994. You you can tell. Oh, look at that monitor, boys. Them were the days when floppy disks... Uh, that was actually before I used computers, so... I have some floppy disks, but I've never really used them. There she blows! And there's, like, a surfer who's just managed to time it right, where a whale releases water from its blowhole. A lot of surfing-themed ones, because obviously this was the 90s, and surfing was massive, apparently. Ah, wild things. You got like a weird buffalo thing, maybe. I think it's a buffalo, right? Oh, we got American Highways again. American Highways, Blitz, Montana. Oh, okay. So this is like a state in Montana. That's really cool. I really like that. So maybe well, slammer whammers are American then. Surf nut, uh, obviously, because he's he's. Dying to get into that water. Look at his... He's salivating. He has lost the plot until he can get in that sea. Oh, we got Cyber Dudes. Which one is this? Oh, Computer Virus. Get it? Because look, he's, he's enveloping. Oh, it's number 13. That's cool. 
He's enveloping that computer, that massive CRT uh, cathode ray monitor. Very nice. Then with the days, um, a tisket, a tasket, a red and yellow casket. We've got a little dead riding hood. Get it? It's meant to be red, but it's dead. Red dead riding hood. Oh, that's a that's a crossover. Rockstar, you're welcome to use that if you want to pay me some royalties. Oh, we've got some more of those flies. Splat! Oh, well. he's uh, He has splatted. Oh, no. Ah, oh, little teddy. Sorry, I was about to say wild things, but he's not a wild thing. He's a little teddy. This is part of the wild things range, though, I'm guessing, because the background is made by Whacker. Oh, Iris. Do you get it? Because that's a girl's name, but also the name of, like, the middle of your eye. Um, and she has both. She is a girl, presumably, and has a massive eye. A singular eye, I don't know why. Oh, we've got Thrasher. Bad to the bone. Is that an official Thrasher thing? Because I know Thrasher's like a brand, isn't it? Like a clothes brand. I'm really kind of liking that. That's like... Yo, if I could get a t-shirt with that on, um, that didn't cost like £80, because Thrasher is also known for having t-shirts that are astronomical in price that I would never buy, personally. Um, oh, American Highways. We've got Clearwater, Wyoming. I'm guessing it's Wyoming. Uh... That's a bit of an abstract one, but cool. I'm guessing, so you know the one with like American highways that had the graves? I'm guessing maybe I just couldn't read it, like maybe there was like grey text and a white background or something, but... Oh, uh, do you get it? Do you get it? It's J, um, mini monsters again, obviously. So, yeah, J, because J, son, for he's Friday the 13th, get it? it, it it's a babby version of him. That was probably a massive uh, film franchise at the time. Oh, oh, this has not been made very uh, well, kept very well. Look at that, there's a bend in it. Virtual reality. kind of like that. This, uh, I mean, to be honest, this has added a weird abstract, like, separation between him and... Is that meant to be a computer screen? Or like a, a starburst or something? Oh, Cyber Dudes again. Who's this? Information Super Highway Robbery. I thought it said rubbery, and I was like, what? So yeah, this is a computer stealing all your money. Ha ha ha, but it's literally a computer stealing all your money. Make sure to always keep a secure password for any websites you make transactions of. Blots. Oh, that's number two. So we got number one, which is another uh, splatted like thing. E, we got an American... Oh, no, hang on. Big Top Circus, Big Top Circus. Okay, that's a guy like jumping through a hoop. Man, Slammer Whammers must have gone on like 94. How did you buy these? Imperial. Now, Imperial makes soap, doesn't it, right? Imperial lather or leather, at least over in the UK. Maybe it's different. Oh, we got more jangle bones. It's Baby Tiffany, but she's dead. <laughs> dead babies. Right then, on to the next... Ooh, hang on. Ooh! Okay, I, I'm basically near the end of the cardboard pogs. This has gone a lot quicker than I expected, actually. We got Jackie... Oh, yo, I really like that. Uh, so I've probably mentioned this in other things. I don't know why, but I really like pumpkin-themed things. I think it's like the colour and stuff, and I love Halloween, but... This is Lil Monsters. Ah! Oh, is he... Isn't there a film, Jack-O-Lantern, or something? And, like... It's about a jack-o'-lantern-headed man, isn't it? Terrorising people. Hey, Pool Poison, Snake, Rattle and Roll, which I think was a game made by um, Blizzard, right? If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, the guy that went on to make World of Warcraft, obviously. Um, ooh, what is this? Adventure. Oh, is this a Great American Highways? Maybe? I don't know. I can just read Adventure. Yeah, no, I don't think there's other text. Or maybe there is. That's really hard to read. Okay, I had to take that off screen. Sailing adventure, it says. That, wow, well. That's an exciting one. Uh, right, we've got High Flying. Oh, he's on, <laughs> he's on top of a, like, wave. Obviously surfing, again. I genuinely, for a second, thought there was, like, smoke behind him. I was like, are you, are you making a drug reference in the 90s? Well fucking done, Jesus Christ. Um, we got Sharky, who's a little monster. Jaws, I guess? Surf's up, like... 
Is that meant to be Baby Joes? I suppose. Joes isn't really a horror film, though, is it? It's more like a thriller. Um, and the very last one, the classical decomposer. Get it? He looks like Beethoven, or one of the many uh, composers who wore, wore like powdered wigs. And he is decomposing, uh, which would imply, I suppose, that he's unwriting other people's compositions, which is a bit weird. Um, right, I'm going to move these slightly to the back then, and then we're going to have a look at the like the 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 whammers, the the plastic things, so the bobby. All right, so looking at it, I've actually only got one doubler. Now there's a chance that one of the you know the flies, the like splat, splish, splosh, kind of ones, they may have been doubles because honestly they're very forgettable. But now it's time to look at more of these really cool uh, slammers. So in case you did miss the other parts, these are pogs. And these are slammers. Apparently, the way you're meant to play the game is you stack up loads of pogs. Actually, I can literally show you. Stack up loads of pogs. Um, and I think you put them, like, face down or something. Uh, hang on. There we go. And I think you're meant to throw a slammer on top or something. And I think it's meant to be a big stack. And, like, the pogs that land face up, you take. And I think at the end of the game, the person with the most pogs wins. That's apparently what slammers are in relation to pogs. Uh, also, fun fact, so pog stands for passion fruit, orange and guava, I think, which is originally, because apparently they came in bottles, you could buy juice from, like, the milkman. Uh, and they'd, sta like, these were lids of bottles, and they'd, like, put designs on, they'd put a staple through them. And then they became so popular, they stopped doing that and just produced uh, discs. Anyway... Let's get on to the plastic... Ooh, yo! So this one featured in uh, part two, I believe, as one of the rip-off things, unfortunately. Hey, It's got a nice glittery background. And the front is the Queen of Spades. That's really cool. Uh, I think I mentioned last time, I really like this set, actually, because uh, Pogs with, like... Man, you could have a really, really weird mix-up mix game that... <laughs> If you got like 52 of these, of different designs obviously, you could play a game of cards with Pogs. That would be interesting. Actually, let's look on the back of them first. And oh, what does that say? Made in Taiwan. Oh god, is this one of the rip-off ones again? Potentially. It's got like skulls and crosses and the yin-yang. Oh, and it's got the like trippy things. Right, these, none of these, these may not be official, like all of these, I don't know. Uh, in part two, we did have some official slammer whammer slammers, but I don't know about these. I, uh, I keep meaning to. So, oh, this is a Al Al R jammer. It's an official slammer jammer. It's an official slammer. Thanks for telling us that, yo. And this official puppy in my ha. Ah! So puppy in my pocket, if I remember correctly, was like a toy line, where I think you had like small play sets and tiny puppies and stuff. So this is like an official Puppy in My Pocket collaboration, I guess, with Slamo Whammers. I'm going to put that in a different pile, because that's actually official. Uh, not that it really matters. Oh, I keep doing it. Right, next one I'm doing on the back. Official Slammer Jammer, number 13. Okay, so there was like a set of these. Um, s Big Boss Man. Big Boss Man? Uh, he looks like a caveman, maybe? This is a weird one. Like, it's all etched and stuff, which is cool. But yeah, he looks like a caveman with a club. Big boss man. That is official, though. Alright, hang on. So, I'm going to grab this. Hey, so it is the back we're looking at first. An official slammer jammer, number 10. Ooh, so they're all... Oh, wait. Wait. No, I didn't pull one of these before, but... Didn't we have a light caps... That looked very similar to this that lit up in the dark. I really like that actually. That's that's super clean, as the kids say. Uh, right, back again. As in we're looking at the back again. I'm obviously black back again and about time too. Al R jammer, official slammer jammer things again. Oh <laughs> I really like that one. Holy shit. Oh yo, okay, I'm I'm gonna like display this one. This is cool. Bad news. It's the Grim Reaper, obviously. Although it is kind of weird because it's a black background, so they have to make him silver and white. And, like, his face would be white, but I don't think the Grim Reaper would be wearing, like, a silver hoodie. 
But regardless, I, oh god, I love that one. I'm keeping that there. That's like, I, I don't know, it's just really funny, I think. Uh, oh, there we go. Official Slammer Jammer again. Oh, oh, ooh, yo, look at that. Got like a weird pattern with dots and stuff, and it's like laser. Compare that to, uh, so this is just chrome. Yeah, that's like laser. Okay, I'm making a bad news pile. I really like that. Maybe that may be like a brand or something. I don't know. Uh, so this is a double. I wait. No, it's not a double. Okay, different pattern. Yin Yang again. Oh, yo, we've got like lines. Uh, I'm sure they mean something, don't they? Those in like um, some religious thing. Ooh, we've got a metal one. As you can hear. Uh, ooh, it's a pure poison one again, although it just says poison. There we are, see? It's like the style has slightly changed. They've got like kind of eyes and stuff. This one's been impaled through the head. It, it Very, very unfortunate, I'm sorry. But yeah, that is metal, as you just heard, which is kind of cool. Ooh, got another metal one. You ready? Ooh, it's another poison one. Uh, wait, I feel like that's a double. I swear that was the design on the last Metal Poison when we got in part two. I don't think these are official. That's why I'm putting them in that pile. I'm pretty sure they're just like rip off the ones. I just had a flash of this off the corner of my eye. Oh, I don't want to guess what that is. That looks like bird poop. It is probably glue or something. I reckon whoever owned these, um, was really curious of how to get like the sticker off so they probably like I don't know how they did it but they like peeled a design off I think that's no oh, that's really weird I kind of don't want to keep that one uh we've got a got like one with a crown on that's that I kind of like that pattern and stuff though that hollow design in the background's cool the hat's got like eyes okay that that's a keeper I like that one uh, well, I'm not going to look in the back, because we know they're all fake now. Uh, we've got Poison again. He's gone... <laughs> that looks like the Looney Tunes thing, doesn't it? Oh! Well, hang on. What? No, what? So the arrow's going through in his mouth and out the apple. Is the apple part of him? And does he have, like, a throat or something? That's strange. Tell me in the comments if you've worked out what the hell that is. Uh, we've only got a few left, I'm afraid. And the... One of the lot. Oh, the eight balls are back, boys. I knew we wouldn't be a full episode though. An eight ball or somewhere. Eight, 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 eight. It's got that like lasery thing in the background again. Kind of cool. Uh, we got like three left. Will this be cool? Oh, it's uh. Wait. Oh no, it's a different one. There was a banana peel um spider, wasn't there? But no, this this looks a bit like um. The Phantom Troop symbol from Hunter x Hunter. Shout out to any Hunter x Hunter fans out there. Kind of, but not not at all, really. I mean, to be fair, they just use a generic spider, so it looks like all spider designs. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Like, spooky, ethereal uh, skull boy who's floating and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I really dig that one. And the last one... Uh, yeah, no, there's one more. Okay. Uh, ooh, okay. So, <laughs> uh, what? Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he putting his bony fingers through that basketball? Because that should have deflated by now. You can tell this is the 90s. Oh, it does say poison. Okay. You can tell it's the 90s because he's playing basketball and it was huge in the 90s. I mean, it's still kind of big today, but. Right, and I've got one left. Uh, this is mysterious. That is. Yeah, okay. I didn't even spot this. Let's have a look. So it's like plastic. It is a cybernetic hand. Cool, I guess. Like Terminator's hand or something. Well, what a, what a good one to end on. That is an interesting one, is it not? Uh, right, okay, cool. I, I don't know how to end this now. That, that's clearly like a fake one as well. Um, I'll just end on this view of various pogs and slammers and stuff. Thank you very much for sitting through this with me. 
I've just been indulging myself basically with looking at some artwork from the 90s on bits of cardboard that probably have no value and I'm, I'm sure some people watching this hopefully are like, oh, dude, I had that as a kid. Um, and honestly, if you did, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to like hear Pog stories, um, which I don't think, I don't imagine many people have said before. <laughs> but, uh, but no, Pogs are really cool. They're like, they're that level of like, Collectible, but also completely valueless. There's, it's, it's very unlikely any of these pogs are worth anything. So, it's a collection you could probably like get together quite easily. I'm sure I could make a complete slammer jammer things for about thirty pounds if I found the right collectors. But I'm not going to do that. I may, however, try and sort these into a collection. And if I do, I'll make a follow up video just showing you like all my slammer jammers and pogs and stuff like that. Probably won't put the fake ones in a binder because I don't know the order that they'd be in. But honestly, it's been a really nice trip. I mean, we've spent almost two hours together now looking at my uh, various purchases of pogs, but this has been a lot of fun. Um, and really, I think it kind of typifies what my channel is all about. Weird random stuff that maybe there's a chance like 10 other people somewhere will be interested in for a brief bit. Uh, and yeah, let me know in the comments, as I said, about any of your Pog memories and stuff. Uh, now, th unfortunately, as I mentioned before, when Pogs were out, I was very, very young. Like, super young. So, I didn't really get much of a chance to um, get these, apart from, like, get them handed down. What I did, though, have is Tazos. And hopefully, I've got my Tazos with me. In which case, here's a jump cut. Indeed I do. So they are at the back of a Pokemon card binder, but as you can see, I got quite a few pages of Tazos. So, um, I hope you guys will indulge me. Uh, I'm going to make a short episode to follow up on Pogtoys. This will be episode 4. And this will all be about looking at my uh, Tazo collection that I gathered over the years. It's probably going to be quite a short one, but uh, I just thought it would be kind of cool because I'm never going to do another Pog series uh, unless I really get into Pog collecting. Uh, there's a 50% chance I won't. So yeah, uh, look forward to that next week or in a couple of days or whenever. As I said, it's not going to be a long one, but might as well top it off with a more modern look at Pogs. But that wraps it up for part three of Pog Toys. Thank you very much for watching, as always. I will be putting this one up pretty soon, so look forward to that, and until next time, goodbye!